The race for president in the People's Democratic Party PDP has started. The contest may even upset the platform. Ambitious gladiators are scheming ahead of 2023. Many calculations, meetings, and strategies point to an intense bid for the number one seat. The battle for the presidential ticket is intense in the North because the main opposition party has hinted that its next candidate will come from the bloc region. It has implications for the South. It may also affect critical decisions in the ruling or progressive Congress APC. For now, four presidential aspirants from the North have returned to the drawing board. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and Bauchi State Governor Bala Mohamed are from the Northeast. Sokoto State Governor Aminu Tambua is from the Northwest. Former Senate President Bukola Saraki is from the North Central. More contenders may unfold their aspiration later. However, the race may take a new turn with leaders of the North Central across the two main political parties making bid for the position. Southwest, Southeast, and South South APC leaders are also not sleeping on guard. In the All Progressive Congress APC, Kogi State Governor Hiahiabelo has also called for power retention in the North, saying that a North Central candidate should succeed President Mohamed Buhari. He has put himself forward. He said zoning should be based on the North South dichotomy. The North Central leaders are mounting intra-party campaigns and agitations to persuade other zones to support their aspiration. They are also saying that the agitation is in the in interest of justice, equity, and national unity. To realize the agenda, top-level meeting are going on in Abuja, Jos, Makodi, Lafia, Ilori, Mina, and Lokoja. The campaign is also to be handled at different levels with members of the National Assembly from the zone, former members of the National Assembly, present and past governors from the zone, speakers of House of Assembly, retired generals, business mongu, and traditional rulers being co-opted to start working at various levels to sell the agenda to their colleagues, friends, and associates from the other zones. North Central PDP chieftains believe their counterparts in the North Central and North East zones should support the agitation to produce the next president. They stated that their agitation is supported by historical facts and principle of justice and equity, as well as the concept of brotherhood. They argued that since 1960, when Nigeria became independent, the unity of the North has been achieved because the Central has solidly supported the oneness of Arewa. They recall how leaders, including Chief Sunday Awoniyi, S.B., Daniya, Alaji Aliu, Makama, Bida, Alaji Amma, Pateji, and others stood solidly behind former Premier of Northern Region Amadou Belo and ensured the Gamji tree provided cover for all Northerners. They also noted that when the military took over, the North Central was the reason why Nigeria did not break into pieces after the 1966 coup. The nation had to look up to a young officer of North Central origin, Colonel Yakubu Gowan, as the most acceptable officer to provide stability, reduce the tension, and assuage hot feelings. Indeed, like other zones, North Central lost a lot of its people who fought as Nigerian soldiers during the Civil War. They made supreme sacrifices to hold the nation together. By extension, it is also said the zone holds the key to the unity of Nigeria. The North Central leaders also noted that in the Second Republic, National Party of Nigeria, NPN, leaders from the North had promised a North Central leader, the late Dr. Joseph Taka, the presidential ticket before the decision was changed at the last minute in favor of Alaji Sheu Shagari. Taka was also denied the Senate presidency while the zone was also not able to get the Speaker of the House of Representatives zone to eat due to the exigency of satisfying the NPN and NPP accord. Yet the zone maintained its support for the NPN. 
In fact, the North Central played a key role in the political development of Nigeria. The zone had hosted some landmark events in the country. It was in Boko that Alaji Sheo Shagari was nominated for his second term. Joss hosted the Action Group National Convention in 1962, which led to the Awolowo Akintola Fed. In Joss, Chief Moshud Abiola in 1993 and Chief Olushego Basenjo in 1999 were nominated as presidential candidates for their respective parties. In the opinion, Northern, not central leaders, nobody has become the president without having strong showing or support of the zone. From Shagarito Basenjo, Yaradua Jonathan, and Buhari. These are zone decides who becomes the president. We are tired of being kingmakers. We want to produce the king because we have numerously qualified, experienced, and con connected individuals, said a chieftain. They noted that a multicultural, multi religious, and multi ethnic region, the North Central is better placed to unite the country as it represents a mini Nigeria. In the same way, this zone is also a food basket of the nation because of its rich land, mineral resources, and industrious and friendly people. Before the discovery of oil in South South Zone in 1958, Nigeria depended on agricultural produce and solid minerals, both of which are abundant in the North Central Zone. Now that fossil oil is going out of fashion as a source of energy, the return to agriculture and mineral resources as sources of national wealth will place North Central back in its rightful place as the economic backbone of Nigeria. The neglect of agriculture and mineral resources buried in the soil of the North Central has deliberately improvised the people of the region. A deliberate action by the rest of Nigeria to support a president from the North Central Zone will help to conquer poverty and alleviate the suffering of the people. This may be the turning point that the country needs to wage war against poverty, create wealth, and uplift the standard of living of Nigerians from all walks of life. The North Central leaders are also claiming that it is the only zone that has neither produced a president nor vice president since the advent of the country. These facts, they stated, place them in a worse situation than that of the Southeast, which between 1979 to 1983 provided Vice President Alex Ekweme. It is believed the North Central agitation was inspired by the success of the South South Zone which ended in producing a vice president and president in Dr. Goodlucky Billy Jonathan. Jonathan served as VP for three years and as president for five years. According to a leader in the North Central Zone, the success of the South South in producing a president has imbibed confidence, the spirit of nationalism and patriotism in the people of the zone. Lack of the confidence and sense of belongings are the problems of our people. It has led to low morale and complex issues in our people. This time around, we must give it all it takes. We must persuade the rest of the country to give one of our qualified brothers and sisters the chance to make a positive difference in our country. And we have many such qualified people from all the six states in the North Central, Benue, Plateau, Kogi, Kwara, Nasarawa, Ninja, and the FCT. North Central leaders have urge qualified Nigerians from the zone to join the race in their respective political parties and provide solid backing for the North Central agitation. The plan is to ensure that two or at least one of the two leading political parties present a presidential aspirant from our zone, while the other parties also get ready to present presidential candidates who are from the zone. Then you will see our people solidly coming out to persuade the rest of the country to vote for a Nigerian candidate from the North Central, said a leader from the zone. The North Central leaders believe a consensus candidate from the zone can easily win the trust of the rest of the country, unite the country, build a cohesive country, and work on the security and economic problems. A president from North Central has a point to prove. He needs to do well to ensure the rest of the country that they have not made a mistake. Already, the zone has started sending emissaries to other geopolitical zones to persuade them and make the dream a reality. 
this is remiscent of 1999 effort when PDP leaders persuaded Nigerians to support a candidate from the Southwest PDP. The lobbying will be more intense next year, but there are many hurdles to cross. If a northerner becomes president again in 2023, it means that the North will be in power for 16 years. If a North Central candidate is backed to succeed President Mohamed Buhari, who is from Northwest, either on the platform of PDP or APC, how would the South perceive it?